In this video, we will discuss how to determine the output voltage of a two-resistor voltage divider, both in general and with a specific example. We also show how to compare the theoretical calculations to the experimental result. Our first circuit describes the general example of a two-resistor voltage divider. This includes the power source Vn, two resistors connected in series, and where we measure our output voltage. The output voltage of the voltage divider can be compared to the voltage returned when using a voltmeter to measure potential difference from the divider to ground. In this case, V out is equivalent to the potential difference across resistor 2. To determine V out, we must first find the total resistance of the circuit. Because the two resistors are in series, we simply add their resistances together. We then use this total resistance and the relation V equals IR to find the total current in the circuit. Once we have found the current, we can again use the relation V equals IR to find the potential difference across the resistor. This time, we substitute total current for I, the resistance of resistor 2 for R, and V out for V. After some rearranging and simplification, we arrive at the relation V out is equal to R2 over R1 plus R2, all multiplied by Vn. This is the general formula for determining the output voltage of a two-resistor voltage divider. Our next example uses specific values for Vn, R1, and R2. Plugging these values into our derived relation, we find that the output voltage for this particular circuit is 2.5 volts. To test our calculations are correct, we want to compare our expectations to an experiment. Using the appropriate resistor values, a power supply set at about 5 volts and 2 multimeters, we have built the circuit described by our earlier diagram. The multimeter on the left is measuring the input voltage from the power supply. We measure across the positive input and ground. We expect this value to be about 5 volts. The multimeter on the right measures the output voltage from the voltage divider. This is measured across the second resistor. After turning our power supply and multimeters on, we see that our input voltage from the power supply is about 5 volts. We also see that the output voltage from the voltage divider is about 2.5 volts. These values agree with our calculated expectations using the voltage divider formula. Now that we've taken a look at a two-resistor voltage divider with resistors of the same resistance, let's look at an example where the resistances are not the same. You notice that in the previous example, V out came out to be half of Vn. This is because we can consider the value R2 over R1 plus R2 to simplify to one half. However, that is not the case in the next circuit. This circuit is a two-resistor voltage divider consisting of resistors with resistances 1 kiloohm and 5 kiloohms. If we use the voltage divider equation and plug in these values, we see that the new output voltage is 2.1 volts. This is not half of our input, 2.5 volts. In summary, you can find the output voltage of a two-resistor voltage divider by plugging resistances and input voltage into our derived formula. If the resistances of your resistors are the same, V out will be half of V in.